Hi everyone, welcome to our course. That's network deployment from planning to acceptance. There is a huge demand for IBS deployment globally from the mobile operators. More than 70% of voice and data traffic is generated in building, and there is a need to deploy a dedicated system inside buildings. IBS solutions come with different flavors. There is DAS, distributed antenna system, there is a small cell, and there is Wi-Fi. And our main focus for this course, it's about DAS, distributed antenna system. I'm Hussein Rashad. I have more than seven years of experience in wireless industry and IBS solutions, with more focused on IBS solutions, distributed antenna system. And recently, I started focusing on fiber telecommunication and wireline industry. This course is designed for IBS engineers, a DAS designer, a radio planner, and radio optimization engineers who are focusing on IBS solutions. By the end of our course, you will be able to start putting your DAS design on the planning tool. And as a DAS installer, you will be able to know tips and tricks on how to do testing on site, how to use, for example, a spectrum analyzer, how to use CW testers to do model calibration, and how to do PIM testing, and how to do sweep testing, for example. Also, as a DAS project manager, you will be able to know the requirements needed in each and every stage of your project deployment. Our course consists of five sections. Section number one, it's an introduction about DAS, distributed antenna system. During section number one, we will explain the DAS concept and also will uh, highlight the different challenges during the DAS deployment. Also, you'll be able to know the DAS ecosystem. What are the main companies uh, participating or involved into DAS deployment, whether it's a DAS vendor or network equipment manufacturer or mobile operators. Also, there are some models like neutral hosts and system integrators. We're gonna explain the differences between each and every business model. Also during section number one, we will explain the different project phases, starting from planning phase of your DAS network up to the acceptance phase of your DAS network. Section number two, it's about DAS deployment principles. We're gonna explain the basics needed for you as a DAS designer to start putting your DAS design on the planning tool. We're gonna explain the differences between each and every DAS type. There are three different DAS types, passive DAS, active DAS, hybrid DAS. We're gonna explain the pros and cons of each and every DAS type. We'll highlight some cellular technology basics like 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. We'll highlight the different DAS planning tools available in the market and how they differentiate against each other and how to choose the suitable planning tool for your purpose. Also, we'll just highlight some calculations required to do a DAS design, something like RF link budget, something like power sharing, limiting technology, and so many other topics. Also, we'll highlight the differences between DAS and small cells, and when to choose DAS and when to choose a small cell. What's the preferred solution for your building? In section number three, we're going to start a practical step-by-step -step guide on how to do a DAS design on the planning tool. Starting from the initial DAS design, and going through the different calculations required to do an optimum DAS design, you need also something called site survey, RF site survey or physical site survey. You need to do site survey on field first, and then you come back and visit your design again and finalize it for installation. There is a very important topic in section number three, which is model calibration and how it's important to do model calibration on site in order to have an optimum DAS design at the end of the day. In section number four, we're going to explain the tips and tricks of testing techniques needed to do proper installation for your DAS network. During this phase, you're required to do sweep testing, you're required to do PIM testing, you're required to do OTDR and fiber testing, depending on your DAS type. Also, during section number four, we're going to explain what are the needed equipment or an instrument to do network acceptance. In section number five, we're going to explain some uh, an instrument needed to do troubleshooting and optimization for your DAS network. As an RF engineer or optimization engineer, you are requested to do some site measurements like spectrum analysis, like interference hunting in order to be able to resolve any issue in your DAS network. That was a quick overview about our course outline. I hope you will find it informative. Let's just get into it and see you in our first session.